The beauty of Ultima Online is the template and skill system. The ability to craft a character as you see fit, not just sticking to a predefined class. Want to be an archer who dabbles in fishing? No problem. A miner with an interest in lockpicking? Go for it. An assassin who strikes from the shadows? Now we're talking. Ever since I began my journey on the Outland Shard, one template that I have longed to try is the Backstabber. Striking from the shadows to inflict massive damage to an opponent, a glass cannon of sorts, high damage but with low survivability. More than this, it's a template that due to the Thieves Codex has an incredible depth of skill point options, one that I found quite daunting. However, before we can get to a template crossroads in our backstabber journey, we must begin with the basics, and that's exactly what I was going to do. 12 hours a backstabber. What adventure awaits us? What stories will unfold? Before we head out on our next adventure, this is my, my default template that I'm running with. I will get my stealth to 120, but to be honest, I wanted to play the game. I was kind of super excited just to, to dive into this, so I didn't quite finish training this character as, as I normally would. I will over time change this template, but this is the starting skill set for any new backstabber. Oh, and as always, my bank is set to zero and we'll track how much money we make in 12 hours. With all that said and done, it was time to begin this adventure. And like in so many previous stories, I was going to do this in Aegis Keep. I love the entrance to Aegis, it's so grand. Now, one thing we are going to do is any mob that we see, we're going to steal from them. And we're going to just to get some, some skill points in our Thieves Codex. We want to get that to 20 points as fast as possible. Now, there is a uh, school of thought. You should just run around and do this at the start before you farm and then change your template but i find that a little bit boring personally so we're going to take the starter backstabber level our skills and then once we can invest those skill points we will do so and we'll change our template naturally over time and throughout this video okay here we go the first backstab oh man <laughs> Damn, I didn't think I'd one-shot them at this uh, at aspect one. Jeez. Will I one-shot this Helion as well? Oh my goodness, this is going to be a lot of fun. Now, surely I can't one-shot the Blood Drake. I think eventually I can, but not at the start of the video, I doubt. Yeah, not quite. Not bad, though. Got some stolen goods there as well. Okay, honestly, I think I can handle level 3. It might take a little bit of doing. Oh, PK alert. I am running tracking consistently, so we are going to get these little pop-ups to let us know if there's PKs in the area. And our first level 3 mob is dead. Yeah, this is this is definitely doable. Two hits to kill a, kill a mob is not bad at all at my level. But this wasn't the tranquility of the mines or the peacefulness of the woodlands. This was a dangerous dungeon. Now this is a real test. Can I handle level four? Ooh, some gold. I don't think I can handle level four on any of my characters. Actually, maybe my tri bard can come down here now that I'm almost tier 14 in Lyric, but yeah, I'm really not sure. Let's see if we can maybe take a hit and then just run away. Nice. Oh, the bleed. Do I survive this? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna die. This is an- Oh, the damage! All right, hopefully no one has looted us. We didn't make it to the entrance. Oh no, that is unfortunate timing. Can I make it and hide? Fuck. You've got that uh, deja vu feeling, because I definitely have that. Right, this body, 
Yeah, sadly, all my armor and stuff's been looted from that body, but what about my original... Oh, we're still here. Yes! Okay, you know what? It wasn't perfect, but we got one out of two, I suppose. It's uh, better than most players get if they die in ages four. I then made my way to Puma in search of a different outcome, but one would not arrive. So there is a society here as well. It's only for 25k gold, so oh my goodness. PK is in every dungeon this morning. Must be getting that late night US crowd. Oh, they've got tracking. Oh no, it's goddamn talking again. He's haunting me. Oh man. The dungeons giveth, but they also taketh. My goodness, it is one of those days. I cannot find a quiet farming spot. There are just a lot of PKs today. You get days like this though. Uh oh, oh, they walked over me. Oh no, let's gonna let's get down here, shall we? Oh god! I can go days without seeing PKs, and then we get days like this where I see no blues. <laughs> I just see PKs. Let's hide around this corner. I think for now. Okay, I think we make our way out. Can I make my way out? It looks okay. Eh? Oh no, this is awkward. Now, previously they had detect and tracking, I think. Uh oh, 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 oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Oh, the bleed. Yeah, I think we can just make it to the moon gate now. And we'll get our stealth heals as well. Sheesh. Okay, we're out. Kind of the beauty of the uh, the backstabber, right? The hiding, the stealth, tracking. It's not, you know, uh, uncounterable by PKs as we saw in Puma, but... That time, we were the victors. As you've seen in previous videos, whenever any dungeon gets too contested, too hot if you will, I make my way to my favourite farming location, the Undermountain, to farm the drow in the peace and quiet. And with some gold now made, it was time for some much needed character progression. I purchased three backstabbing links from my guild, and then I upgraded my shadow aspect to tier 2. It's a slow but steady progress for my character. Okay, so after I kill this mob, I think I can now just kill one more enemy, and I'll hit my next Thieves Codex goal. Yeah, so actually I'm just going to steal from this, this mob here, and then we'll leave the dungeon. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> what have I done? Might just, uh, <laughs> might just edit that part out. <laughs> yeah, what is, what is cut to me killing this mob? Whose corpse is that? <laughs> You'll ask in the comments. I'd be like, who knows? Is some some fool? At least we're, uh, at least we're unlooted. Okay, so let's try that again, shall we? One more steel. There we go. We've got a little celebration noise as well. Okay, so now we need to grab our blessed knife and then do a very important preparation task. We need some kindling from these trees because we're about to train camping. Okay, but let me explain. You see, if I put six points in Shadow Hands in my Thieves Codex, I can drop snooping and instead take camping, increasing our carry weight potential, meaning basically more gold from the dungeon. Okay, step one, get our camping to 50. And then step two will be very fast. We'll get our camping to 80 in the new player dungeon. Hello, good morning. Yes, we're at 93.1 camping. 
I didn't train it too much last night, but we've made some good progress. And most importantly, we can now carry more gold. Now it is Saturday morning, which means new weekly shard and region bonuses. And we're going to go for this Aegis Keep 20% experience gain to, to really try and push our shadow aspect to the max today. Hopefully it's quieter than yesterday, although it's a Saturday, so we will we will see. This little back area of Aegis is really farmed. Ooh, 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 oh my god. When people farm uh, experience dungeons, they often just leave gold behind and focus purely on gaining XP. So we'll kill these mobs for our own gold and then take anything left behind as well, which is nice. So I really do find myself in this little corner, time and time again, because it's not that I can test us. These mobs don't give that much gold, right? Compared to other areas of the dungeon, but because I can farm it in peace, it's really nice. And then thanks to the XP bonus, we are really getting some nice gains in shadow aspect what's great as well is we get a gain for the mugging and a gain for killing the enemy so we get two procs for every kill which is amazing oh this guy said hello <laughs> thank you dashing william you know what this guy looks uh i think he looks new he's just hidden i'm not sure let's give him some gold we're just going to buy <laughs> buy subscribers in game 2k at a time <laughs> get them to buy some new weapons or whatever he needs however if you've watched any of my previous videos you know that i believe in karma and while i'm trying to balance the odds in my favor i've still got a long way to go Ooh, a little paragon can i get there before anyone else there's no way right how is no one here? Oh no, I didn't one-shot it. That's okay, that's okay. Okay. Very surprised no one else saw this as it's right at the entrance of level three, but their loss is my gain. And we'll kill this malform in a second as well. Honestly, I think most players run past this section to the, the demons or the dragons or whatever, right? The more lucrative parts of the dungeon. Nice. Some gold. Oh. Oh, <laughs> my God. That thief just stole my paragon chest. Well played. We want to time this just right, and we're going to try and snag the paragon chest now. <laughs> oh, that's a big yoink. <laughs> and while the adventures of a thief will return in due time, I am still trying to balance out my karma so I can steal from you all again without <clears throat> remorse. You know what? what's an underrated uh, TV intro? The Frasier intro. You guys ever watch Frasier? I, uh, I don't remember anything about the show, but I do recall the introduction, uh, kind of the opening uh, jingle to that that show. Now and again, it just comes to me and I start singing it. It's such a, dare I say, a banger. Oh no, mace fight. Now I will say for the uh, nefarious amongst us that you can of course use the backstabber to uh, to loot dead enemies deep in the dungeon. But um, I think this guy is new. I think I've seen him farming a little bit. Oh no. Is this a uh, leather farmer going to take his loot? Oh no. Let's hang around and see what happens. Oh, I'm going to smoke one. <gasps> He's doing it. Guards. Oh no, wait. Oh my God. I, <laughs> I almost took the gold. <laughs> oh my God. I have pure stealing greed. I almost looted that man's gold. Oh no. Oh, he sent me with a little juke. I'm going to hug this little drop down here so tight. This little corner here, we're going to try and bounce off the stairs. There we go. Now, I... Yes. We are doing some good damage. This man's got no wrestling. 
All right, or no parrying. Oh my goodness. No. We must avenge Mace Fight. Yes, get him. The gang's all here. Oh my god, will this guy jump in as well? Yes! <laughs> the squad. Okay, okay, I can do this. Oh my god, I'm doing good damage to this man. If only a uh, dex or a PvP was viable, I'd be a uh, average PvP or let's go! Okay, it's gonna let's loot up all this stuff. And if we're lucky, we'll run into mace fight and we can give him back his goods sadly those two got the bronze armor but this ain't a, ain't a bad haul okay i can't find oh there he is no buddy come back i think uh, someone else looted his whole body by the way because there was i think half his armor was still here when we chased off that um that gray so Someone else swooped in, but let's uh, give him back his goods. Oh my god, what is hitting me? I'm going to potion through it, and then we're going to smoke bomb <laughs> and hope Mace Fight can, uh, can survive. Oh man, he came in with bronze armor, and he's leaving with <laughs> plate mail iron armor. I'm so sorry, Mace Fight. All right, brother, you got to go. Yeah, you got to go. Okay, I'll try and take aggro as best I can. We're good, we're good, we're good. And then, after my noble, nay, heroic deeds, I found myself once more killing mobs in my favourite location of Aegis 3. There is always dead mobs here, but there are never players. Oh my god, please let me hide. There we go. I am loving farming an XP dungeon. I never do it normally, but I think I will start doing so. Oh no, he didn't die. <laughs> oh no. Wait, hold on. We're still a GM mace fighter. We can just hammer away on this guy. No pun intended. Nice. Let's uh, head to the gold room. It's normally quite contested, to be honest with you. Oh, Yeah, someone's fighting it just uh, top right of my screen. Maybe some good leftovers in here, though. Let's go and take a little peek. Yeah, there's some gold, just as I expected. Wow, a lot of gold. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe not that much gold, actually. Well, a thousand. 300, that's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty decent, actually. There's some more gold in amongst those corpses. Actually, let's get the blood feaster. Oh, okay. Hey, man of culture, I see. All right, well, we get the gold, if nothing else. We need that for buying shadow cores, actually. Turns out if you buy four echoes on a one character, <laughs> it's actually very expensive. And you've not got much money left, but... I love playing new characters, new templates in Ultima, so it's it's for me it's it's really really fun. Okay, a few more mobs and we'll hit our next uh aspect level. Which is good. The the benefit of the XP dungeon is obviously the XP. The negative is um I'm I'm poor and I can't <laughs> afford to keep buying all these cores. Um but I've got enough in the uh, in my my wondrous wagon, of course, my captivating caravan, um, to upgrade to my next level. So we should be fine. It's not the end of the world if you can upgrade. To be honest with you, I mean, you should if you can, if you can, because it's it's faster progression, right? But if you're a new player, don't worry about leveling up at every single aspect level. That said, I am going to level up now. So, ooh, I'm going to grab all this tasty gold. Oh my god. Wait. What are they? They're blue. Oh, no. No, they're blues. <laughs> they are, in fact, blues turning red. I see. Oh, god. The one positive of Outlands is that even though I died, which sucks, and I lost my gold, I have maintained my progress. So we will take that as a win and we'll hit tier 4 in Shadow Aspect. 
Hopefully those PKs have gone and we can, ooh, look at all that tasty gold over there. Damn, damn, damn. Guess what I mean? You see, if there's a, if there's an XP dungeon, especially at peak hours, players just run through it. They're more focused on gaining link. Do you get link XP actually? Well, either way, they're more focused on gaining aspect experience um, than they are on gold and, and, and valuables. So, like, I can just loot all this gold off the ground. There's so many mobs with gold. Uh, I really, you know, cast your minds back to my my second or third video when I did leather farming, and I ran through ages just farming leather and picking up gold. I'm basically doing that all over again. It's it's <laughs> it's incredible. I'm getting rich by doing very very little i've had this idea for a while it's basically how much money can you make in 24 hours on a fresh character and fresh account and um yeah just seeing this dungeon like this makes me want to do it pretty uh, pretty soon to be honest with you i think it'd be very very interesting two more k look at that oh no oh no oh the demon spawned i'm so dead i'm dead Oh, I'm alive. Wait. No, the bleed kills me. No. <laughs> Damn, this is a big gold run. If you're left uninterrupted and you don't uh, kill yourself to mobs, you, uh, you really can make a lot of good money farming as the backstabber. This isn't quite peak US hours, but the dungeon's still busy. That said, how um how close am I to one-shotting demons? I assume oh, well, <laughs> okay. That guy, oh he can do it, and he just farmed leather. I've I'm, I've been so torn between uh forensics or item ID. Oh gosh. But I think I'm going to take forensics, actually. I think that man's convinced me. Oh, he just uh, killed my mob for me as well. <laughs> Very kind of him. Yeah, so I, I can drop tactics pretty soon and replace it with something else. And I've been super torn. But I mean, I am the leather farmer. It is my, <laughs> it is my brand. And I get a bonus to my damage. So it's like more damage and I could farm rare leathers. It feels like a no-brainer, to be honest with you. Just want to check if there's any more gold in the, uh, just one guy farming. Ooh, hello. There is gold here, actually. Oh, wait. 28,000 gold. Uh, I can't carry all this. This is too much gold. Holy moly. Okay, let's start dropping some of our magic items and take as much as we can. Oh my god, I need a potion and not die. Hold on. Gosh, I've already got so much gold on me. How much can I realistically take? Um, okay, 3k, 2 more k maybe? Um, I'm going to put more of our magic items down. We're okay for Arcane Essence. And I, I'm kind of interested to see how much gold I can actually get out of the dungeon. I'm not quite at my max camping yet. But, um, this would be really interesting. I think maybe 37, 38k. It, that assumes you drop everything, right? So no magic items, just gold, basically. But, uh, gold is the name of the game when you're leveling up a new aspect, right? And if this man's going to stand here and kill everything for us. Oh, I think I can do it, you know. Oh... Almost at 40k. I might just come back and camp this room, to be honest with you. <laughs> Let's go and, like, make dinner or something and just let this man farm for us. Okay, we're going to leave. Uh, we are going to kill this mob because we do need the gains. There we go. Uh, well, that was silly because now I'm overburdened. Hold on. Um, didn't think that through, to be honest with you. Forgot I would mug him. Okay, let us leave. Take that gold. No, stop. <laughs> I've got to stop taking the gold. Okay, let's try and 
How about an even 40k? I've got such a loot goblin problem, jeez Louise. Okay, I'm exactly max weight right now. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, nice. So I actually made some good gold there on my own before we found our generous benefactor. Um, that's very, very nice. We've got a few rare items as well. The still, the cores, the research mats. Plus that gold, obviously. Take the arcane scroll. Get those gems out of my backpack. Very, very nice run. Yeah, I'm not ashamed to say that I went back looking for more free gold. I've been gone for a little bit, so hopefully there is a uh, nice pile of, of gold here. What we got? Ooh, baby! Thank you, sir. For those interested, I did ask this generous man, my wealthy benefactor, why he drops the gold. And he said that it's, it's just faster for him to level up his aspect if he's not constantly leaving the dungeon. So sir, I salute you and thank you for your generous offerings to my echo addiction. I, I have a real echo addiction, it's a problem. From the depths of Aegis Keep to the dangers of SSC, by way of Amberstone Mountain, I was farming it all and having a great time. Okay, we're on to our next character progression. So I can now use Ruffian, six points in Ruffian, to drop tactics and replace it with another skill. And as discussed previously, we're going for forensic evaluation. This allows me to farm mobs for leather with the more expensive leathers be what I'm looking for. But most importantly, it actually gives me a damage buff. So we're going to do more damage and collect leather to sell. It's, it's really a win-win scenario for us. I'm getting serious deja vu here, but the leather journey once again begins. And my fellow leather enthusiasts, that can only mean one thing, a leather montage. Oh my god, is that a paragon chest? This is crazy, there's so much gold just lying around. The theme of this video, other than my new addiction to backstabbing, is just how much gold you can find in dungeons on busy, experienced days. It was honestly quite ridiculous, but of course I wasn't complaining. I, I like gold. So I can farm all of these mobs for um, for leather, for forensic eval gains, which will give me more damage, which obviously is fantastic. But I can also take all this free gold. And once again, I am overburdened, which is, I guess, a nice problem to have. So I think on this character going forward, I probably won't grab normal leather. I'll just grab the the rare colored leather but for this video and because my skill is so low it's all I'm really getting uh, we can turn it into commodities though of which I now have two with some change which is lovely and yeah our loot box is looking really really impressive so far and then after a quick scenery change in SSC I headed back to Aegis Keep to end our journey where it all began, almost 12 gameplay hours earlier. Sadly, we're not quite ready to one-shot a demon just yet, but making some good, good progress. Ow. I love smoke bombs, they're, they're so good. Okay, this should hopefully... Oh no, I... Came out of stealth by accident. That's that's annoying. A waste of a smoke bomb. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's bear. <laughs> bear, uh, bear killed the mob for me. You guys want some good um, backstabbing guide? Go to Barely There's YouTube channel. He's got some really good things there. Template guides, setup guides, and a few kind of walkthroughs of dungeons. So definitely check him out. And you very kindly finished my mob for me, so we can just. Get in there and take the spoils of war. 
I'm kind of expecting the water early to respawn soon, so I'm hanging around a little bit, but maybe maybe it won't. What is farm the leather from? Is it this one? Ooh, 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 what was that? Hold on. Thank you, bear, wherever you are. Oh, the risky bow, a risky bow. Okay, what the heck was that? Tribal ruins, dungeon antiquity. That's huge, goddamn. <laughs> Well, that's a lovely mob to end it on. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, we're so close to the end. I've stealthed the whole way. We've died quite a few times to PKs and we had that Paragon chest stolen, obviously. So I'm taking this one really, really slow. I am a loot goblin though, so I'm gonna go into this room real fast, see if I can skin anything. No, we can't, okay. <laughs> I had to try, I had to try. 12 hours a backstabber. But, loot reveal? This was so much more than I expected. 750,000 plus a box full of just rare goods. Over a million gold, easy. This was such a fun haul and uh this might be my new main character i really enjoyed this backstabbing video it was yeah it was it was relaxing rewarding and and the loot was good hell yeah 12 hours of backstabber is probably the most fun i've had in outlands to date the skill development the template choices the damage output and that constant fear that one overstep could send you hurtling towards a grey death screen. In truth, I could have done 100 hours of Backstabber and still longed for more. I hope you enjoyed this ultimate online adventure. Thank you, as always, to my channel members who support my stories. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, as it greatly helps me grow here on YouTube. With that said, thank you, as always, for watching, and I'll see you in my next adventure.